I'm very particular when I enter a bookstore. I always check out everything that's in the front. I want to see what's gotten um, the most space, the discounts, what's on the Barnes & Noble Octagon. And then I check out all the new releases in the fiction aisle. And then I check out the young adult section from the new releases to fantasy, to contemporary. And then I make my way to the middle grade aisle and see whether my books are there. So I kind of check out where my books are. So I hit those three places out front, the YA section, the children's section, and then I'm pretty much done. <laughs> I had a day job for about nine years and as a computer consultant, so I actually like working in offices and hearing the uh, smooth sounds of keyboard clicking, murmuring on the phone. I just find it so soothing and so great for my creative process, but sadly, I work at home alone now and I always kind of joke that I'm just going to find an office and be like, can I just put my laptop here? <laughs> For Alex and Eliza, I did a lot of research. Um, I went back to the source material, the National Archives, the letters, not just from Alexander Hamilton, but from his friends, John Lawrence, Marquis de Lafayette, uh, the German Baron. You know, so I read, and then I wanted to write a domestic story, so I read a lot of biographies of American women in the Revolutionary War period. I actually employed a history professor, an American history professor, to help me um, you know, determine what I could embellish on in the story, you know, and what um, I could keep and what I couldn't, you know, what I couldn't mess up. Mm -hmm.